In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to blend two images. One I created from Mid Journey. Second one, I took the image myself. And here's the final image. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. So here's the prompt that I use on Mid Journey. A throne made out of AR-15 rifle, dark, grungy, and dramatic lighting. Aspect ratio at 3-4. So you can see right here. So that's the one um, I'm going to use. So the size of it is only 928 by 1232. What I like to do is enlarge it in Topaz Gigapixel. So this is totally optional because Gigapixel, they charge for the um, for the software. But the way I do it is go down here, open Gigapixel. Also, I'm going to leave an affiliate link for Gigapixel if you'd like to check it out and look at it. If not, like I said, it's um, totally optional. Just go here, drag and drop. And I just like to keep it as standard. Just let it do what it likes to do. But I like to max it out at six time. And I'm just go ahead and uh, save image, save, and it's gonna save inside the same folder. So here it is. So now instead of 928, it is 5568. So that's six times the uh, size of it. Again, it's optional. You don't have to use Gigapixel, but I am gonna show you the uh, difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open my main image. We're gonna be working on here. And let's disable this for now. Let's go back to our bridge. And let's open up the uh, high res one that we just created. And I'm just hold shift, alt, bring the size of it up, kind of like that. And let's go back to bridge, same thing. Bring the size of that up. Now you zoom in, here's the um, low res and that's the high res as you can see low res then the high res so you can see the difference so again I'm zoom out I'm gonna delete this one the low res one let's bring this underneath the main image and let's go ahead and um and oh yeah I forgot to mention all this uh is gonna be for a download for my patreon so for those who subscribe to my patreon you have access to all the files and the shortcut that I'm gonna use so let's go ahead and um and let's go ahead and uh clean up the the main image. So I'm gonna hit control G. Just name that throne. Just make a copy. I always like to make a copy just in case I mess up and I have something to come back to. Just name that master copy. And just right click, just rasterize layer so we get edit in here. Now I'm gonna zoom in. And just remove that. So I'm going to go here, select the remove tool. And let's go ahead and just uh, paint it like that. Also the shadow right there. And let's go here. I want to remove this right here. So let's see how well it does it without messing up the um, part right there. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and save that. Now let's go to our main image. Let's go ahead and group this. Control G. Again, Control J, make a copy. Name that master copy. And disable that. Control T. I'm going to hold Shift and Alt. Bring it down about there. Place it right there where I'm sitting. And I want the back of the heel probably right there where the um, bottom of the chair meets the floor. So I'm going to hold Shift. Bring that up. Kind of like that. Just hit enter. 
Let's go ahead and save this. Now let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to group this. So it's going to be a group inside a group. Let's rename that main. Save that. Now first thing we want to do is adjust the uh, the level. So I'm going to go down here, select the levels. And let's bring the white down. I forgot to do this right right here. So we want it to only affect what's inside this group. Bring it down just a little bit. And let's go above the group. Go here, color balance. And we just keep it at the mid-tone. Now we see there's some green and a little bit blue. So let's add a little bit green, a little bit blue. Kind of like that. Now let's go to our levels and see the shadow there. Let's make the shadow match it. Kind of like that. Now let's go up here, add a new group, name that adjustment. And I'm go down here to my actions. I'm gonna click on gray noise, click on play. And when you zoom in, you can see the uh, before, after. So I'm going to hold shift, select both, control J. So by adding this, it just make it blend in just a little bit. Save that. Now let's go to our adjustment. Now let's create a levels and let's bring this inside the adjustment folder and let's darken just a little bit like that and bring up the output about eight. So about five, eight, and then point nine two. And let's go ahead, color balance. just a little bit. So by adding these two, it's just trying to blend in the main image with the image to the back. Now I can see parts right here is too bright compared to um, where the chair is at. So I'm gonna go down here, let's create a new levels and select that so it only affect that group. And let's bring, see how, I'm liking how it looks right there, but it's, now it's too dark there. Fix that, select that, select B for brush, make sure that's black. Just uh, double click and then select that, click OK. Now let's bring the size of the brush up, kind of like that, and then make sure uh, hardness all the way down. And just kind of paint it out like that. Remove it. Save that. Now let's add some shadow underneath the main image. So here's the main. That's the group. Let's create a new group. Put that inside the main group underneath. Let's name this main number two. So right there. So let's create a new adjustment, levels, and we're going to darken like that. And let's go ahead and control I to invert it. B for brush. And let's go down here, make it about 175. And I'm going to hit X, toggle between the two, make sure that's white. Let's do, um, Let's do about 33 opacity and let's paint that area in kind of like that. And we could do the same around chair like that. Let's 
more darker in that area where it's closer to the heel right there too so before after so I still see more green back there but it's not on the chair but it's down there so maybe I might add a little bit of the green on the pants so where the bottom is right here so let's go ahead to the main two color balance add a little bit more green kind of like that but we don't want it to affect the top area so I'm going to select B for the brush hit X make sure that's black opacity bring it all the way up size I'm just uh trying to do the shortcut let's do 200 do the shortcut again kind of like that bring the size up move that it is too green on the shoe so before after so just a little bit right there just make the difference let's go ahead and save that All right, so I'm going to make some part darker. So I'm going to go down here, go to the levels, and let's go ahead and bring the white kind of like that. Control-I to invert it. B for brush. X to toggle to the white. And make sure opacity is at 100. Let's go here. I want to make that part darker. Also there. So before, after. Not looking much, much better. Save that. I'm going to do V to move it up just a little bit. Now since we did that, let's go down here to the shadow and let's create a new one. We just want to paint that in or we'll make that darker. So I'm going to do levels, bring it down about right there, control I to invert it, B for brush, make sure that's white and much better. Save that. And maybe add another color balance. Just a little bit more blue tint. And I'm double click this. And I'm hold Alt, go down here, and just bring the shadow. You can see before, see the shadows coming back. Or make sure you're on Dragon One. So about right there. Before, after. Maybe bring it down just a little bit. Save that. All right, that looks good. So let's check out the before and after. So if we disable, I'm gonna just do this, right? Just just for, just to show the before and after. I'm gonna select all, Control J, Control E. And let's go ahead and make a copy again. And then this one, we don't need the adjustment. We don't need this, we don't need the shadow. And let's go ahead, control E to merge it. So that's before, after. So I'm gonna save that. 
Alright, so I noticed since I moved myself up, I need to make that part darker. So let's go down here to the main. I'm just name that shadow. Let's go ahead and uh, create new levels. Do the same thing. Control I, B for brush. Make sure that's white. I'm gonna keep it at 100. And just paint that in like that. All right, look much, much better. So before, after. So yeah, that's how I created this uh, image. So if you like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just uh, leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching.